it weighed so much. Oh. Hey, 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 everybody. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> uh, welcome. It's uh, Thursday. Here we are, the uh, Aquatic Adventures uh, on this uh, Poisoned Sea, the Land Between Two Rivers. I don't know what it's called uh, anymore. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad to see everybody here. We are down some folks because of Gen Con. Um, but uh, we will soldier on, play some D&D. Have a great time. Uh, how is everybody doing? I I don't even know who, who to start with. Uh, uh, Matt. You did this to me last time, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can take good. a picture if you really don't Look, want to. Look, go for it. I'll, I'll go last. Yeah, I'll go last. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Listen. Sure? Take it away. Go Hello, everybody. It. Welcome to twitch.tv slash webdm, where your favorite bays, uh, Josh, Jim Davis, Matt, I guess, and Lindy. And there's two other bays missing, but don't miss them too much because they'll be back next week. Oh, yeah. I hope. You know, unless sickness falls upon us and all that stuff. But but I'm doing great, Jim. Excellent. I hope everybody's doing great. You're all looking great. And Berlin shirt. Beautiful. Beard. Oh. Beards. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Tank top. Crushing it. I should have worn a tank top. Puppy. Okay. Y'all are crushing it. Anyway, back to you in the studio. There we go. All right. Bam. Uh, who's up next? <laughs> Josh, I'm going to call on you. I'm doing well. Hi, Jim. Hey, how's it going? And Anna and Okay. I'm uh, ready to play. It's been, every, see, like now, it's like every other week, just how it's fallen. Yeah. yeah. Twice a month is not often enough. I need to play. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, yeah, I, I feel that way as well. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, summer gaming is always like this. You just forget because you go through, like, you know, spring and, and fall gaming. Everybody should just take their dice out to the pool, sit down with their mimosas or whatever. Floating dice for your pool time. Floating dice. Please? Yep. Oh my god, that like sounds bowls. amazing. I'm going to pat yeah. right now. Right now. <laughs> I'm going to look on. it up on Google. i got to go pat this. Hold on. I, yeah. <laughs> we need to have a convention. Just a convention of like poolside D&D. Yep. Yes. Yep. With like those, you because know, you can just like Make have those barbecue. tables that you swim up to and sit out. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, excellent. And Lindy, it seems as though you've got something going on. Uh, yes, I am <laughs> an eclectic cardboard box collector. She's a hoarder. Uh, I am about, I'm going to start a new cardboard community in the alley between, you know, this house and the gas station. No, I'm moving. And so I'm going insane and packing. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Got a weird setup right now. I'm actually using my husband's computer because mine's in pieces in the other room because we decided to move all three desks downstairs yesterday because they were the heaviest things. Uh -huh. and we knew we'd have to pull the door frame off the door to pull my to get my sewing desk out. That's when I realized, wait a minute, we assembled my new computer desk from IKEA in the room, so we should probably move that out as well while the door frames off. And so it's a mess right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, moving is always chaotic and stressful. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm ready for a D and D break. There you go. All right. Uh, so here we are. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to our channel sponsors, uh, Tabletop Loot, and go and check them out. Josh was just talking about eating dice. Perhaps they've got some new stuff. Uh, you can go check out on Tabletop Loot uh, and all that good stuff. Yes, there we go. All right, folks. Um, I am uh, still recovering from a uh, WebDM shoot, which is always a, uh, an, a mental ordeal. And so I am like to be quite loquacious and talkative. So please uh, feel free to jump in if it seems as though your characters can't get a word in edgewise. <clears throat> I don't think Brutus will have a problem with that. Brutus, I don't think he's going to have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I, we're going to do some a, a bit of like temporal uh, distortion uh, as, uh, in order to link up the, uh, the members of the party. When last we left Myrtle and Calliope, they were um, nearing the rig, which is where the techno otters, which uh, inhabit the swamp, uh, sort of make their home, I guess, or at least they have some sort of 
place there. Um, and it was uh, just, uh, just nightfall when we had last seen them. When we last left Ophelia, it was the morning <laughs> and <clears throat> She and Weiris were traveling out of the uh, out of the cove back into open waters with uh, several kraken uh, babies in uh, in their arms and a hurricane uh, or at least a thunderstorm of tremendous proportions and violent waves uh, uh, <laughs> you know that they had woken up to. So we're gonna do a little you know timey wimey magic and say something that sometime in that night uh, that Brutus had returned from uh, you know giving his report to uh, to cap to the captain and has uh, gone back into the cove and the various channels that run along uh, uh, you know further back into it and uh, has picked up Ophelia who was uh, near that pirate uh, base this was sort of close to the uh, the cove cove entrance She's got some cracking. Um, but we will start with Myrtle and Calliope uh, next to where uh, the rig is. Now, this is after you had traveled down that one uh, meandering channel with the mangroves that sort of like formed a canopy over the top of it. The, the bark on the trees here is this sort of like deep bluish purple almost. Um, and they, the roots of the, uh, the trees have these pink and purple and blue, uh, crystals that seem to coat them. Um, most, for the most part, you can try to swim through, like through the mangroves. There's water there and, and not that much land, but it is a mess of roots and, uh, other sorts of, uh, aquatic vegetation and the like. And so most, uh, traveling is done through these, uh, channels that have been cut through the mangrove and it's through one of these that you can see the lights the sort of harsh uh white and yellow of uh, what you i don't know that you I, neither of you might have a frame of reference for like a light bulb um but it's sort of like a you know these sort of like harsh white yellow lights that seem to come out of these uh large round uh, sort of like crystals <clears throat> There's several of them arrayed over this uh, vaguely obelisk-like structure that is really more of a rusted steel framework. It rises up out of the water at an intersection of several of the canals and is quite large. You can see that there's dozens and dozens of otters coming and going from it, piloting various uh, barges and other slow-moving uh, watercraft, and uh, in general, making a lot of noise and chattering it up. <clears throat> So hmm. we weren't sneaking last time we were playing, I don't right? recall if you were sneaking. No, uh, Laramar at some point had gone off to hide in the reeds somewhere and mm -hmm. you haven't seen them since. Um, but yeah, I don't think y'all were sneaking. In fact, the last time y'all were out like in the middle of the, one of those channels, just talking to one of the otter uh, boat captains, mm -hmm. if I remember. Okay. I forget which, what their name was. I think it was Harry. I think that was Harry Otter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Something like that. Something the like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was it was Harry the Otter, and he said, I think he said, uh, um, Ottermus Prime. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ottermus Prime had the uh, <laughs> had the uh, uh, was the had been connected with the uh, you know with the mm -hmm. item that you were seeking a pelt, right? You were asking after a pelt, mm -hmm. and um, that's what they. Uh, that's what Harry had said. Ottawa can I'm remembering. <laughs> yes, there's several. I've got a whole list, so hopefully we'll get to a lot of them. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> I love it. But um, uh, yeah. Uh, so Myrtle, what do you? Uh, so what do you think of this place? It's kind of ugly. I don't like those lights. Uh, they kind of hurt my eyes. Mm. As like her two crab eyes kind of go like this. <laughs> Well, I've got to find my pelt. Hmm. Have we asked that otter over there? Well, I mean, we talked to one earlier, but we could talk to one here. Let's just go do that. We could, yeah. All right, let's do it. Um, so I think uh, Calliope will look to somebody to talk to. She's she's not um, she's not particularly stealthy. She feel like she doesn't need to sneak. 
Okay. And so you're just gonna you're just gonna approach uh, without really. I mean, you can just swim up to it. There's no uh, mm -hmm. barriers or anything like that. Um, at the moment, there's like three or four craft here. Uh, one of them is uh, you know, from the boatman that you just talked to, or the sort of boat otter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one is like a sailing craft, but most of them seem to have some kind of uh, technological means or mechanical means, I should say, of uh, of movement, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, like a paddle wheel or an air fan or something like that. All of them have been... Uh, cobbled together uh, and not you know they're not made from original parts as it were so hmm. they've kind of like constructed all these things out of swamp junk <clears throat> and um at, as you're coming up you can see like there's like what look to be stone steps that rise out of the water onto one of the platforms um <laughs> and uh there's a you know commotion of otters up there it looks like they're trading something maybe shellfish something i don't know if they're pouring something into nets somewhere else there's like orange sparks and a great uh loud you know cacophonous screech uh as someone does something some otter with a faceplate uh you know continues to work on their uh, mechanical marvel um and uh further along this concrete platform you can see what looks to be like a pod of dolphins um mm. and a bunch of otters uh just you know, they're not, they're not really, uh, I don't know, there's noise coming from there. You can't tell if they're like arguing, yelling, talking, just something. It, there's a commotion of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, that's just in your immediate uh, vicinity. This whole structure rises above you several, uh, what looks to be at least 100 feet or so. Mm -hmm. a high of activity, uh, well lit, and lots of people around. And most people just sort of like look at you and, or most of the otters that are there, rather, just kind of give you a glance and move on. They don't really seem to be bothered that you're okay. there. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, yeah. So they're talking to the to these dolphins. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Maybe. Maybe they're talking dolphins. Because I can talk to dolphins, but no. Hmm. It's possible, yes. Maybe okay. we could we could talk to them. They usually are very smart and see a bunch of things. They're they're kind of nosy, from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. mm. So I think yeah, because because uh, Myrtle is from around here, right? Like you sort of grew up, and you're not like well, at the very least, you're not like extra planer like mm -hmm. the party. So dolphins in uh, in the in the Bay of uh, uh, iridescent bay here have a reputation that's not unlike that of orcs they are known to be belligerent uh cruel and um just sort of seen as uh vicious and spiteful um a popular sort of like popular legends about them suggest that if you they're easily tricked if you promise them some sort of like infernal magic or something like a lot of tales are about like oh you can trick a dolphin if you promise to let them meet a devil but mm -hmm. all of those stories usually end with the tricked dolphin uh becoming very violent once they realize they've been tricked so that's mm -hmm. kind of the uh you know if calliope voiced any of these oh it's a dolphin i'll go here uh most dolphins are just you kind of stay away from them because they're brutes so what you're saying is we should talk to them. Oh well, yeah, of course. <laughs> that's why they're there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. They yeah. There's like like I said. There's about six or seven of them that you can see. They're you know their heads bobbing up and down out of the water, um, mm -hmm. and they are talking to about three uh, otters. Do they look like they're ganging up on the otters or not? The otters are kind of on the on the on this like concrete slab, like almost not unlike a water park, rather, where um, they're not like ganging up on them. But the conversation there is you kind of if you if you're walking towards it, uh, you know, sharpens a bit. And you can understand more of that they're at least talking to each other. It just seems like they're talking in a heated language, or sorry, like in heated tones. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't think y'all speak any of the languages that they would speak. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Aquan? Um, no, nah, it's not Aquan. It's a, uh, it's something else. The, the dolphins, okay. an, another, uh, just tidbit about them is they are, uh, 
they're very good with like manipulating sound. And so they can mimic a lot of the, even though they don't have vocal cords, things like that. They can mimic speech through their mm -hmm. uh, echolocation kind of thing. So it's probably that they're just like, it's a weird way of talking. Um, so, and then the techno otters have these weird voice box things that mimic dolphin speech. Oh, so there's a bunch of like chirps and whistles and things like that. Mm -hmm. as they... That is super weird. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what's happening. So okay. yeah, uh, so are you gonna stop me? Because Viby's heading that way. No, I'm gonna stop you. Cool. Are you going to or not going to? I am not gonna stop you. Yeah. I, would not. Say, I would say that it's at this point that both Ophelia and Brutus, you're like arriving sort of a similar scene coming up on the rig. Maybe you see Calliope and Myrtle walk up onto this concrete slab that's at water's level. Uh, just to give you all an in uh, if you'd like. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Calliope, you can keep walking forward or you can go approach them. Um, yeah, I'm going to swim over to them and I'll, I'll like get close enough to see if I can pick up anything from the conversation. Probably can't. Mm -hmm. the, um, close, the closer you get, the more the easier it is to understand um, whatever vocalizations the dolphins are doing. It, mm -hmm. it, seems to be rather localized that it's intelligible um and it sounds like they're negotiating a price for something there are a lot of mechanical contraptions uh, nearby um and it, it looks like this might even be like a workshop or something it's like there's tools and, and other sorts of things uh open air all uh, right but um they are uh yeah they're negotiating over a price and if they if, do you walk right up to them or do you stop at a distance or what are we are we on land? Or are we on like? <clears throat> You're on like a concrete slab that's inches mm. above the water. Mm, okay. Uh, it's fairly large. There's dozens of otters up here. There's a lot of machinery equipment. Uh, there's four of these concrete platforms that support this big structure. You're just on one of them. Yeah. I'll. Well, they're in the middle of a negotiation. Mm -hmm. um, it would be kind of weird just walking up to two people haggling. Yeah. Interrupting one of them with "Hi, I can talk to you." Yeah. So I'm not going to. Um, Calliope will pause a moment and uh, wring her hair out, and then, if the conversation isn't over by the time that's done, she'll move on. Okay. How about uh, Myrtle? Um, seeing as I can't understand what they're saying, Myrtle is gonna kind of interrupt and be like. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, they some, they kind of like turn, turn towards Myrtle and uh, and you know look at you uh, and I, in the sort of like weird echoing uh, sort of vocalization. Uh, you, what is that elf doing here? And I don't understand them, right? You understand that? That's oh. the, that's sort of like that's spoken in in Auckland. And it, it kind of is loud. It's it sort of like echoes out over, and there's a bit of commotion as the techno waters adjust their communicators. Um, there, there's an elf here. Yeah, Calliope looks like an elf, right? Like you, mm -hmm. you, you look like, and not like a aquatic elf. You look like just an elf, you know? She, yeah, she, she's like an eladrin. Um, yeah. Okay. A spring eladrin. Sure. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. They, don't, yeah. they they seem they're like. Um, bobbing their noses up and down the water and splashing around and stuff and, and you can hear them all just like you know, the hated ones ah! you know, they're like screaming at you what did I do? I'm yeah, not... wait mm -hmm. uh, okay, to I'll be fair just a to react as the techno honors scramble but yeah, uh, what, are, what are you doing? Uh, Calliope might in vain attempt to explain that she's not actually an elf okay Although... how, how far away are we right now from I mean them? if y'all were if y'all were swimming steadily towards where you think they are y'all would probably be like approaching the rig uh, okay. and if uh, unless you want to do something else I'm getting a phone okay. call. I'll be right back gotcha. gotcha um all right so you're trying to explain to them that you're not really an elf yeah which and, might, that might sound crazy uh -huh. how about uh, myrtle you said the Dolphins were the ones that scrammed? Yeah, the dolphins are the ones that seem to be agitated. Okay. Oh, I mean, that's not really an elf. Uh, aren't you guys supposed to be super tough? Uh, this, where, where did it come from? Who, who is this? 
Well, I'll tell you where. Is it they? It's kind of like uh, sunset. All right. Or dear, is she they? Oh, sorry. I thought, I thought, sorry. I thought, you, I thought you said day. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, uh, no. Is it day? No. Um. It. They them. Yeah. Josh? Both they. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Me? No, no, no. Quite, quite a piece. Um. Quite, quite the woman. Um, okay. So yeah. uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. Oh, I'll tell you where, where she's where she came from. Uh, so she, right? Look her in the eyes. Um, <laughs> she came from her mom and her dad. And now we're here and we have questions and you guys need to be less scaredy. And, and my mom and my dad were otters, but not these kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Um, hmm. That's, I mean, I, I mean, that's a, that's a, <clears throat> That sounds like a persuasion to me. That, you oh, know, yeah. With oh, advantage yeah. there from the help, from the assist. Um, uh, okay. Well, do I have proficient? I am proficient. Okay. And I credit, so 25. Oh, <gasps> yes. Um, they seem satisfied. They, they calm down. They start stop splashing in the water, but they are, uh, at least two of them keep their eyes on you and, and, begin to sort of like swim around as uh, in, in almost like they're pacing or, mm -hmm. or seem agitated. Um, the negotiations that spark the strike back up between the uh, uh, techno otters and the dolphins now is more just like, we can't do business with you. There's no, oh, no. <laughs> um, but it, was there something you wanted to ask them? Um, well, have you seen an otter pelt is, is the general question that maybe like a kid, she's walking around asking people. Oh um, yeah. Um, they, they which sort of again, <laughs> but but her her pelt would like are they like river otters or sea otters? What do they look like? Um, they are definitely like uh, river otters. Okay, they're not as big. They're not like as big as uh, a sea otter would be. Uh, yeah. She's a sea otter, so yeah, yeah. Her they're pelt's small, different, right? They're small yeah. sized, basically. Yeah. Um, they just have big guns. And uh, um, the dolphins, they're, like I said, they're agitated. Um, you have a, you've walked in on their conversation. They seem to be buying um, mechanical contraptions that would allow them to travel on land uh, is what they are after. And they look like these sort of crab-like, lo like lobster-like uh, sort of mm -hmm. frames or shells or skeletons, like an exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. um, that are in the process of being made and they're going through that and, and you know, the honors are explaining it's expensive it's taking us forever to find the right stuff like you can't just like, we don't even know who she is they're trying to usher you out okay shoo you away um is that who you that's when you ask about the pelt i i mean yeah i i, I say that although i would i would not be you know i'm probably gonna leave soon uh -huh. but i want to see if anyone responds to it um the pelt uh no, no pelts, no pelts. Listen, uh, uh, you, you know, if you want that kind of thing, all the scavengers market is on the other pier across the. Oh. Across the, the you got to get off this one. Listen, okay. Come on, right. you want to piss off a dolphin? Sure. I'm Do you want to be liquefied? I don't and know. He just like goes and dolphins aren't that mean. Where I'm from. Okay. Keep going. Weird look. All right. <laughs> no, they're they're usually pretty yeah. nice. They're a little they're a little smart aleck, like, but. <laughs> so you leave a sassy yes uh, mm -hmm. all right all I'm right gonna... well my demon oh. friends wouldn't want me to be here anyway oh my god as i say that out loud all right let's go oh, again they right. they uh jeer and holler out after you like, everybody knows there's no such thing as demons um and uh if you guys want brutus and you know uh, ophelia uh, are close about to Two minutes after they jump off and swim to the other side, uh, Brutus will jump up onto the first one okay. and just look around for him. Like, where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> just here. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, you, if you want, you can make a perception uh, check to spot them. But there's walkways, there's waterways, there's catwalks, there's all kinds of things. Uh, yeah as these uh nice as these uh, extras from water world meets red wall um <laughs> walk around and do their thing yes. as the night goes on you can like there's 
uh, you can tell that somewhere towards the entrance to the, the cove and the swamp, there's something going on. There's lights that you can barely see over the canopy of the mangroves. Mm. There's occasional noises. And in the great distance, there's the gentle roll of thunder uh, that is uh, coming in. Um, so yeah, uh, mm. Clippy, still. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I mean, she now knows where people would keep those kind of things. So she's excitedly swimming over there. Okay. But not swimming as fast as she could be if she were an otter. For real True. though, right? For mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. And there are demons. You just never met one. No one's ever seen them. No one's ever seen them. Uh, they can't, all right. they, for all their sonic power, they can't modulate the volume of their voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave them wondering, like. Uh, you've certainly them. agitated them and made an impression. Mm -hmm. It's like those, that video game. The dolphins will. Yeah. The dolphins will remember. <laughs> like, this. like yeah, yeah, you believe whatever you want. All right, I'm not here to argue with you. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better be glad the otters are here. Um, whatever. Everybody, <laughs> old lady. At this point, <laughs> Brutus and Ophelia can see Myrtle taunting the dolphins. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, swimming, swimming over to where the uh, the junk market is. You clearly don't know how old I am. I've seen a lot of my time. <laughs> Your mother's a fish. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just like your father. <laughs> <laughs> you never listen. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um. You see a market uh, of, of some sort, like a flea market or a swap meet, right? There's all these tables that have uh, net bottoms. Uh, there's like waters, sort of drains out everywhere. And it's like, over here is the big pieces of scrap. And over here's the small. And here's the curiosities. And this is where they sell mussels and things. And you know, It's like that kind of place. Mostly it's junk that they're pulling uh, out of the swamp, like clockwork oh. parts and things like that. Hmm. Um, but there is, there's someone there that's just got like random stuff and um, have Calliope, what's your passive perception? 11. 11, all right. Not, not especially well. Yeah, I mean, you can, it, it's hard to tell what's over there and in this light, mm, not so much. Um, but there are people here selling things other than swamp metal. I have 14. If it matters. Yeah, it looks like um, someone over there has, uh, I don't know, it looks like, it looks like uh, nothing like anyone else is selling. There's mm -hmm. like just a bunch of maybe personal effects or, or odds and ends. Uh, no pelt, but um, definitely things that are like, haven't been pulled from the swamp and are not like, you know, they're not rusted and covered in algae, basically. Hmm. Follow me. I found something. Oh, did you see something? All right, I'm coming. Kind of like, bloop, 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 bloop. Um, that that person? Yes. Hi, um, th you, this person. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I, you know, uh, I'm not sure of everything that Calliope had on her person when her pelt was stolen, but perhaps there's some personal effects, maybe an arcane focus that you've been missing or something, something that would be uniquely yours. Uh, uh, is is on the table along with just some other of your personal items uh, that are there. What? I'll let you determine the details. Ah, well, yes. Uh, well, you know, come, what, uh, what can I do for you? Huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome um, to Pickle Paws Picked Trinkets. Um, sir, is it sir? Mm, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's my bashing stone. How's that? Your bashing stone. This is a That's perfect right? bashing stone. What do you what do you what do you need a bashing stone? It's it's you? mine. It's mine. Somebody stole it from me. What you stole it from? What do you how do you even know what a bashing stone is? Because I bash things. I'm an otter. What's this with an otter? You're not an otter. Look, does he look like an otter to you? Does uh, he look like an otter to you? Uh, I'm from the I'm from the Feywild. I'm Feywild. an otter there. You're a Feywild. Come on, get out of here with those fairy tales. <sighs> Listen, the bashing stone, I don't even know why you'd want it. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's it's uh, uh you know it's two bits. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no, I have two bits. But where'd you get it? 
Oh, oh, listen, I, I, uh, it's uh, far be it for me to divulge the uh, personal details of my procurers and pickers and the like. Uh, their anonymity is sometimes the only thing that keeps them uh, in business and myself in business and the like. I can't just tell anybody, you know? No, but you can tell me because they took my pelt. We're not pelt. just anybody, okay? Okay, buddy. With mm -hmm. a pelt? What? Wait. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. First off, I don't have any pelts. Mm -hmm. Elder Lord, you see that? You look. See? Well, somebody would have kept it. Somebody did. Mm -hmm. oh. Who was that somebody? Uh, us. I can't say, you know, like I, the, the bond of trust between otters is strong. My eyes get like really wide, as wide as a guess of crabs can. Ah, <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I, you, uh, you know, there's no need to. Uh, uh, be, get get, uh, get rough here. I, I understand, you know, and maybe like this is when Brutus and you know, like Ophelia would just, like rise up out of the water, dripping oh, have away. My, have my Kraken babies hatched yet? Are they still wiggling in their eggs? They're still wiggling. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, yeah, perfect. they're still like, okay. but it's like they're spinning in. Okay. As, well, like, I've a, got like told me. I'll just you know swim oh, off. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no need to get violent. There's no need to get uh, rough. I I get the point. Violence? Did I hear violence? No, no. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, over here. Violence over here. Your coyness is appreciated, but I, I I take the picture. I take the idea, the threat, uh, as as implied. I'm Picklepaw, by the way. If you ever need any junk or you ever need. Oh no, it's as nice to meet you. My name is Ophelia. Thank you, thank you. So uh, yeah, the Artemis Prime came by here. Uh, you know, a while back. Some time ago, mm. about a week maybe, uh, and I, you know, I, uh, I, I said I don't want that. It smells funny, you know. You know, it smells funny. I didn't want any part of it. And it's like you know, if it come from one of us, then that would be cruel, right? You know, like I'd be selling the skin of one of my own kind. Nope, that's mine. Right. It, it was it was pretty big. It had silver right here. Mm. Yeah. 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 Listen, listen. I don't know. You know, I don't know where Artemis is. I don't know where he is. But he said that he had to. It was he couldn't sell it to me even if I'd wanted it. He had to take it somewhere uh, uh, north of here, further into the swamp. I I, I don't want to say anything else. I, I shouldn't even have said that, you know. Why don't you want to say anything else? Why well, you know, the water has all ears. The information, and then with my little pipe, I, thing, I hit the ground. My head under the water to look for ears. <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a metaphor is, idiot. Um, um, uh, yeah. Uh, how big is this otter? A small, this is a small sized creature, but okay. it's like he's like a you know standing upright, got clearly you know like a watch and you know like other sorts of things on. He's me it's like a pocket watch. He just keeps it his little skin flap. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, so okay, I could Otter. pick him up with two hands easily, easily. and yeah. begin to men in I mean, black style like God. shake the pug. Like, there are there are a lot of other otters present. Yeah, they're like you're, they're not, he he undoubtedly has uh, friends nearby. But I'd bear over him then. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be like sweet, and you guys no are like really throwing shade. Uh, uh, listen, I, you know, I. Uh, uh, all right, okay. These are my three fighter friends. I'm just a sort, but they can really mess you up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, no, no. Okay, listen. My name's Calliope, and I can. Can we, can, we, can we talk for one second? Why? Sure. No, I think I think it's a metaphorical second. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mattel, did have you seen? I'm going to be a mom. Have you seen my babies? <gasps> those oh, are beautiful. beautiful. God, oh, but, yeah, what precious. Is that? What is that? What is that? Like you? Yeah. You take those from the lagoon, did you? Kraken babies. Oh God, you got to get out of here. You got to get out of here. Uh, I'm, going I'm going to raise them up. Hatch by morning, and they're going to set off. A, no, 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 you don't want to be anywhere near that. Listen, if you know what's best for you, just throw those things back in the water and let the let the gods sort it out or something. I don't even know. Like, I like, like, kind of hold them up closer. Like, oh. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I, this is why I lean really close and whisper to him. We're going to get out of here as soon as you tell me what I need to know. But you don't have to tell me. I can do a quick little spell. You don't open your mouth. And I see what you're thinking. Uh, Would you be willing to do that? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Ma uh, magic? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, if harmless is fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's it's perfectly harmless. You're not gonna All deal right. with it. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, then, can we shake on it? And then when they shake, she casts a dreamscape, and 
is going to depict his thoughts above his head. Uh, right, right. Uh, yeah, you see, um, you know, the exchange take place. There's a, uh, uh, you know, Artemis Prime is, there's like four, three other, uh, you know, tough looking cyborg otters, you know, sort of around him. Uh, he's got, you got, you know, your pelt. It's, you know, much bigger than, than any pelt that, uh, um, you know, that they would have. He's yeah. given the rest of your stuff to uh, Pickle Paws here. And then, um, you know, the last that they, the last really interaction they had uh, was him taking the, uh, the pelt, getting in a boat and uh, heading north, which uh, Pickle Paws observed. If there was day, you could see that like the other side of this uh, intersection of the canals, right? Hmm. Um, but it's night, so really all you can see is the silhouettes of the trees. Um, okay. anyway, and what looks like a giant statue or something somewhere along the tree line uh, north here. Hmm. Um, Silhouette of it, at least. Cool. Uh, so, what was your name again? Uh, pickle Paws. Uh, oh, pickle yeah, Pickle Paws. Thank you, Pickle Paws, so much. Yeah. And, yeah. and you didn't say a thing, and that's okay. Sure, uh, sure. Anyway, yeah. Did, when he sold you my stuff, did you see a rolled up sheet of paper? It might not have. I mean, it was a, it's, you know, it was parchment, but it might not have made it. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I, you know, what what I saw and and what I I did I, did, I didn't see is uh, neither here nor there. I, you know, whatever's on offer here, I, I'll offer you a discount for it. But as you understand, like I, you know, my labor went into this. I got to recoup some of my losses. You understand. Okay. Okay. Um, is is there like a like a scroll tied with like fancy lace on the table? Uh, uh, yeah. Like there's it's your personal effects are on the. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. That's that's her her stone and and the and the, the scroll is the only thing she'd care about. Okay. Um, which she doesn't have any money, but she's going to turn around to Brutus and just kind of smile at him. Uh, Brutus like. Gives a big wide grin and uh, lumbers over to the table and pulls out just like a sack of gold and just like, I don't know, like three or four gold and drops it on the table and picks up the, like, is there a tablecloth? Yeah, there's like a net kind of thing. Yeah, like a, picks a the whole damn net. thing up, throws it over his back. Uh, yeah, well, that that's fine. That That's very good. Uh, <laughs> All right. He takes it and he puts it in like a pouch like a life held pouch and yeah, yeah. nice that uh, uh, happy uh good luck to you and thank you big well flips into the water <laughs> running mm. away <laughs> yeah all right yeah all right i yeah. said i set the net down on the ground sure. and just like pick through and you know whatever we want oh. uh, you know there's there's uh, there's several like uh, different uh you know packs like a you mm -hmm. know worth of stuff in it um, there's the handful of items that are calliope's um yeah it's like you know we'll say it's a we'll we'll call it like three times you can pull a useful tool or something out of the you know what i mean mm -hmm. something like that otherwise like find places so. for it in the backpack and stuff sure sure you know that there are people on the ship who would be interested in a lot of this stuff and i'll put the net in there too i mean fuck it why not why not yeah there you go and I and I'll take my scroll and let's let's go find Artemis Prime. And also, those are Kraken. Yeah, aren't they adorable? They, they haven't hatched yet, but they, you know they can be a bit of a handful. I hear, but don't worry, I will raise them right. Be don't close. you know that they're going to get too big for you to take care of? It's not going to be a problem. They'll be old enough by then to know what they're doing. Okay. Do do, do you have names for them yet? <gasps> Yes, we have uh, Cecil. Um, we are just helping names this one, and then this is Sebastian. Oh. And then uh, this one right here, she's going to be a bit strong. Her name's Philomena. Philomena. Precious. Mm -hmm. so precious. Mm -hmm. can, can I carry okay. one? Yes. Would you like to carry uh, Sebastian? And, you know, with my claws very carefully, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> You're so precious. You're gonna I grow up. So precious. <laughs> to be a big old boyo. Oh. And I'm gonna take care of you, and I'm gonna hurt anybody that tries to hurt you. Oh my god. Okay, and I, and I love you forever. Okay, here you go. 
Uh, so they're in these like squishy egg sacs that are about like, I don't know, you'd call them the size of a medicine ball, maybe. Maybe a little smaller. Mm. Um, but they are spinning like turbines in their eggs, like just fast. Uh, and they actively like holding one is like, it shakes and I don't know. Yeah. Sort of oh, yeah, I have tentacles to hold them with. Yeah, yeah. The problem. They're so excited. They're very excited. Uh, oh lightning God. flashes on the horizon as uh, the storm continues uh, to roll in. And uh, where are you guys uh, up to next? So we're going to find Auto Artemis Prime. Artemis Prime, yep. Yeah, this sounds good. Uh, yeah, hopefully he'll just happily give it well, up. There's, first off, there is a there's a whole uh, you know, rig of otters here. He, you know, uh, Picklepaw didn't say where he was. He said he, where he went a week ago. That that oh. that thing that you visualized was mm -hmm. happened like a week ago. Got, yeah, he did say that. Yeah. Whether it was you know whether where he is now, uh, Picklepaw didn't say. So he could still be here. He could be north. Um, but you know that at one point when he had your pelt, uh, he went north. Hmm. Well. Let's ask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm, anybody good at tricks? You know, deception. I can chuckle. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like lying. I'm not very good at lying. Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm not either. Okay. Very some wholesome, honest people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The alchemist on the ship would. Uh, I know if he's capable of scrying magic. No, he's not that powerful. Okay. Okay. We can just ask nicely and hope they acquiesce. Yeah. Like, excuse me, I am looking for Optimus Prime. Have you seen him? Because like to oh, the first ones you meet, or yeah. Because spoilers, guys. All I have to do is get my hands on it once, and I can make it go away by being inside of it. Mm, as one does with skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Relatable. <laughs> All right. God, I hate it when I wake up in the morning and my skins come off at night, and I just right. oh, I gotta find it. Early things. In it's true. Show. That actually you applies wake to. Wake up me. in the morning and you don't know where. Like you're in a field and your skin's missing and you don't know where it went last night. Like, maybe uh, I wouldn't drink too many. Yep. I, that's actually what happened. So I'm, yeah. I'm glad you pointed that out. Doctors yeah. hate him. Yeah. Um, um, having a little sleep. So you, you guys, if you if it's just like the first cluster of otters you see, then they're just like right over there. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, um, you asked him where Otterus Prime was. Mm -hmm. Ophelia does. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I uh, they seem like ad not agitated, but just sort of like nervous a minute, for a minute, and um, uh, we we don't know where he is. Oh, why are you nervous? Huh? Huh? Who's the oh oh. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, nervous. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Artemis Prime, you know, just don't want to uh, get on his bad side. Listen, is he bullying you? Yes. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. I want an insight check. Yeah. That. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am proficient with insight. <laughs> I am okay with insight. Oh, Ernie has a roll. Nice. Or do I? I'm gonna roll it for the yellows. Yes. Okay, seventeen. For the All right. Yeah. <laughs> Not only uh, is this otter like clearly like taken off, like ooh, uh, taken off guard and 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 poorly lying, but his two friends are eyeing in the direction of another cluster of otters, and uh -huh. they, I mean they they look the part. They've got like cybernetic okay. replacements. I noticed that they're like, things. no, never. And yeah. they're looking like at this other group. She'll be like, oh, that's an, sorry to bother you. I guess, I guess we'll just keep asking around. And then she kind of nudge, wink, mm -hmm. and then yeah. start swimming much. towards that group of otters that they were yeah. towards. Yeah, they okay. Also, did we go back to the boat after that wall that we encountered? Uh, no, no, y'all no. went uh, further on. Okay, because there... I only have one slice of apple pie left. Ah, uh, yeah. But I'm gonna cut it in half and give it to that otter. Be like, here you go, honey. Listen, you gotta stand up for yourself sometimes, okay? You just <laughs> eat some apple pie. <laughs> so, uh, Jim, hey Jim, are are we gonna get to an episode 
where it's just all the otters and fish people describing one dinner, like in Redwall? Are we going mean, to? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Because that would be great. Possibly. We do talk about food a lot. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, man, I, I miss reading Redwall because I've never been hungrier when I was reading Redwall. <laughs> feels it feels so good to eat right after that. The cartoon yeah. show's fun. Uh, what were you gonna say, uh, Matt? <laughs> Matt? I was just wondering. So last time I played, we had the, you know, the captain was like, "All right, you can go out, but then come back by by dusk." Mm -hmm. um, so we went out and we found this place, and then I assume Brutus went back because I, I think we had said yeah that Brutus had gone back yeah. because. Uh, Brutus didn't want to get reprimanded, but right. everybody else stayed. This is part of the weird time time right. distortion. It's also not that far away. Like okay. the captain is, uh, I don't have my map out, but the captain's like less than two miles away. Like okay. it's not that far. Uh, okay. Back. And You're did the a bayou basically? Did that big water wall finally go away? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm just uh, they. For... The the water wall went away. That was a consequence of the the right. uh, the gate or not the gate, but like the dimension door that they'd opened. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but they have set up an elaborate and multi layered like spikes and big nets on poles. And like they spent the whole day like making this barricade at the mouth of the uh, of the cove. Wow. Okay. So. Breed babies. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. yeah. But with the explicit, like they were not shy either about what it was for. Like this is to catch and capture and kill as many of the kraken babies as they can because they don't want them uh, getting out and it just becoming kraken. Not be orphans, and then they'll grow up right. <laughs> yes, all they need is some love, um, and uh, so yeah, that does that fill in some gaps. Yes, thank you. Thank nice. You. So, okay, so yeah. So, there, so there's those people might know. Well, well the people. right? Did we get a good look from the dreams dreamscape thing of what that's Artemis true prime looks like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it looks exactly like Artemis Prime and beautiful. Okay, cool. That's why I like that spell. Yeah, I like that spell. I think it's cool. I might do a draft and publish it. That'd be cool. nice. And Anything. you uh, and uh, so yeah, all right. Uh, you recognize them. They don't seem to have noticed you, other than, you know, yeah, they don't seem to have noticed you yet. Where's the pelt? Uh, you don't see the pelt. Damn it. I wanted to, like, sneak up, snatch it, turn, <laughs> and then jump in the water and run away. <laughs> no, you don't see the, uh, you don't see the pelt. Okay. Um, I have to ask them. I, I, re I really need this guy's self, Jim, because there's so many stupid little goofy things I want to do with her, and it requires her having a mustache. <laughs> and okay so i'm gonna lead and see if i can't get some nice out of this okay i'm gonna reach into my backpack and use one of my three tools to pull out a fake mustache <laughs> and hand this it to calliope all right thank you how did you know i needed this uh... <laughs> I mean, she's, she hasn't changed her, her tiny little skimpy net dress. She just no. now has a mustache, a big no, black cartoon it's, mustache. It's a cute right. skimpy net dress. Yeah. She, she's now the prettiest drag queen. Um, um, so, yes, there, she, there, there are the otters. You've got, a, you've got your... You've got your mustache. How are, how are you approaching this? Are you going to ask nicely? I am going to ask nicely. I am, so I am going to... Yeah. If they don't put, respond politely, we can say at least we tried. We put forth mm -hmm. effort. Before, before, I do, before I do that, Jim, I'm going to spend a bonus action and get all my spell slots back okay. by sacrificing my, my points. Yep. Um, and that's a just in case. She's a little naive, but she's not dumb. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know how that would look for a sorcerer. I've never described that as a sorcerer. How do you mean? Drawing on your sorcerer's points to do anything. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk up and um, clear my throat and go, <clears throat> Mr. Artemis Prime. Yeah, they um, they look at you like, what is Yeah, what is that? Mm-hmm. 
Um, I'm, yes. I'm a I'm a I'm a distinguished collector um, and hunter, and uh, I was told you had a very rare uh, find on your hands. Um, I, I uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, you know, I you know I don't, I don't know where you're from or what your business is, but uh, I, I don't sell anything. I'm a private uh, procurer. Please. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I, are you sure? Because I, I mean, I'm I'm very wealthy as well. Mm, okay. All right. Now it's time for deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of just pushing it until it was. Um, <laughs> all right. Here we want to see. Do you have a bonus to charisma? Um, Hopefully. You know, Jim, and I think now it's time for a, for a um, Tides of Chaos. Let's do it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get advantage on that roll. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, another 20. Uh, so uh, 23. All right. So. And, and my Tides of Chaos has been activated. So. Okay. Fun time. Um, so that's what, remind me that again, that I can ask you to roll on the wild search table and then it resets. Yeah. All right. And then it resets. All right. We'll, is... we'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it, but if it, okay. if it didn't for uh, too long, remind me. Um, so it kind of like looks at you and, and I see this, I see like a tides of chaos is not just like, oh, you gave yourself a bonus die, but like you're messing with like yeah causality and yeah. <laughs> and, and like fundamental forces so there's like maybe well, sorcerers are powerful they're crazy yeah um and uh it. and so he's like uh you know i i think uh i think that perhaps we could uh come to a, a mutually beneficial arrangement certainly i am mm. a man mm. so excuse my parlance an otter who believes mm -hmm. that uh you know uh, that we can all benefit uh, from exchanges okay, so mm -hmm. now uh, mm -hmm. what 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 are you what are you in the mood for uh, a collector oh uh, uh, well i mean like i said i, I like uh not all i like uh hunting and, and taking trophies and horns and claws and pelts and, and eyeballs things like that um, wondering the, if you had any rare finds. Hmm, something unique. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I, listen, there's a lot of uh, a lot of animals out there in the mangrove that you could uh, be a fine prize for you. But uh, if you were looking for something unique, I could mm -hmm. uh, maybe show you the way uh, somewhere. Um, the individual might have something that you uh, might be interested in. However, I, you know, I, 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 you know, need your help uh, with something as well. Hmm. Oh, what is it? case but you see i you know what we can discuss that matter uh uh at a, at a further uh date um you know perhaps uh discuss it in route but suffice to say i just need you to uh agree to take my place in a matter hmm oh is it a is it a dance contest because i could do that uh, not, so, not so much like a dance contest more like a long-term agreement okay but I'm um, intrigued. I'm intrigued. Indeed. Oh, um, to see. Yeah. Are you gonna? Do you want to elaborate, or am I just gonna trust you? Ah, right, well, you know, I, it, it's a, a minor matter. In fact, we're gonna see the gentleman about it as the uh, same person who uh, I happen to have an agreement with. Also, happens to be the same individual who has a certain uh, unique item that a hunter or collector could potentially be interested in. Okay, so as an aside, Calliope, Calliope doesn't have perception and skill, but she was raised around like satyrs and shit. Um, yeah. She does have insight. Is this sure. guy fooling around? I, you know, if he could. There's a variety of curses, packs, bindings that can be voluntarily transferred. Uh, mm -hmm. He might be trying to get you to do that. Like you'd have to examine him with, you know, you need you need to examine it with divination magic, like a mm -hmm. stick magic, mm -hmm. identify what would tell you exactly what's going on. Um, hmm. but, uh, yeah, it, okay. you, know, it, you know, it tracks and it's not outside the realm of possibility. Well, I mean, I'm not really looking to get cursed. It's not a curse. Uh, you understand it's not a curse. It's uh, more of a, a contractual obligation for a certain number of, uh, labors, uh, you see. Hmm. Gosh, I wish I wasn't so curious. I'm still interested. I won't say exactly yes yet until I kind of know the circumstances. But. Oh, certainly, certainly. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, it's uh, it, it, I, listen. It, 
I will tell you the full details uh, uh, as we go, but uh, you know, I just you know let you know uh, up front. Are you ready to go? And he seems uh, anxious. Um, Clive is going to look back at her companions. Yeah. Um, and uh, is also going to take out her dagger and say, well, let me shave real quick and just go ahead and take off the mustache. And I thought she's shaving. Um, so, um, and then she just kind of gives everybody like a, a look. Yeah, but not with the but not with the shoulders. You know, just subtle. Uh huh. Real subtle. subtle. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, so you're what? Are you? Wanting, <laughs> are you wanting to go now? Like you're wanting to go? Uh, lead Possibly. You? Uh, I mean, she's kind of looking for like. Do you guys think this is a good idea? But they can respond however they want. She's giving them a subtle eyebrow. That's it. Can are we far away that he? Can't, or that she can't hear us. I thought you were right, uh, right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's what I assumed. You don't have to be, but. Well, uh, yeah, we could, you know. I look, pretend I'm talking to like everybody else and not Calliope. Yeah, you know, yeah, that was a good day. You know, maybe we could watch their back. Mm. Mm-hmm. Follow. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> now it's oh man, uh, the razor burn. Uh, now it's time to go. That's, that was too subtle for me. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are gonna go. Y'all are gonna follow them then. As foolish as it is, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's absolutely a bad idea. Who all still. needs light sources? I think I might. I don't. Think ahead. A good question. Yeah. You ever played no. a Minotaur? No, I do have dark vision. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I mean, no. not explicitly. Uh, does Ophelia? I do. Yeah. And I, I need a light source. Okay. And then uh, where's that? I do too. Do I have more of that uh that glow paste that I had last time? Light emitting. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just, still have the lung, and you still have the lung eel. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you don't have to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I gotta remember to cough that up later. <laughs> yes. So they don't lay yeah. eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if they laid eggs, then you could have lung eel babies. Yeah. They can. Mm-hmm. Look, if you can get them out before they hatch and take care of them, I don't think he'd care. I mean, I probably could. I. I very agile i can i True. can fit i through squeeze through tiny spaces yeah oh i could probably harvest some long eel eggs we're gonna become a babysitting service mm-hmm. yeah. yes that's what the, yeah that's listen <laughs> that's the game you guys like um yeah. so uh Artemis prime and his crew which includes the otterminator uh otter yes. <laughs> dorable and possum uh all oh my god <laughs> Jim, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yes. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, they have like a they have like an airboat, right? Like, oh my gosh! If you yeah. that you're invited on, if you'd like, actually, they kind of Calliope's invited on for like I don't know that all the rest of you would be. Um, I'll just cling to the side like a like a ship's yeah. yeah, yeah, that, that's possible as well. Um, and, I think is it possible. For Myrtle to just be like, oh man, you know, I'm glad we got all those bad guys. I mean, who else is gonna hire us now? You know, we're very strong and resourceful, and mm. you know, have anybody's back really that pays us in yeah. junk. It's a, very, it's a very mercenary attitude. Uh, you know, you're gonna join a crew or something? Uh, you know. Oh, you're I'm I'm sorry. Also, like yourself. Were you talking to me? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. listen, I may have one peg leg, but this old lady has seen it all, and I'm still oh, oh, strong, yeah. I'm still kicking, and she kind of kicks her little peg leg. Ah, uh, you know, if you're into join a crew, uh, yeah, you know, we can certainly sign you up, um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. call this a trial run if you like. Yeah, well, I mean, on, on the trial run. 
uh, yeah, well, we, we could, you know, a trial run, we could uh, call it, uh, you know, let's see if we work together uh, nicely and the like. Uh, yeah, uh, and then if it does, we can discuss pay rates, uh, what, what percentage of a share you get, that kind of thing, you know. This is like our intern voyage. Uh, certainly, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. And at this point, he's like, uh, <laughs> the, the boat is skimming across, uh, northward across this intersection of the channels. And none of the other uh, techno waters have said anything to y'all. At least one of the others just is always just got a disgruntled kind of look. Um, I bond with him. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> it's. Kind of um, look at each other and nod. <laughs> Uh, they maneuver their craft uh, along several uh, lesser channels, passing by that uh, silhouette that sort of towers over the trees uh, that looks like to be some sort of statue uh, or something. Um, and they uh, make their way up these uh, smaller channels through the swamps and mangroves uh, of this uh, this little uh, back country here. Um, now, are you y'all stick with them the whole way? Let them uh, completely guide you. What, do what want? I want to do is I want to see. I want to make note of when they're turning and stuff to see if I can find our way back if we need to. Gotcha. Let's see. Hmm. Is yeah. it is it like swampland where like some of it is ground and some of it is water, or is it like just like like the Everglades where it's just all water as far as you can see? It, uh, they're a great, it's sort of a mix. Uh, it, it appears as though like the further in you get, obviously the more uh, land there is. Um, certainly the places that you've been to up until now are like that, where it's either uh, sort of like towering reeds that uh, you know, conceal the water or um, the, these great big like mangrove uh, swamps basically. And so as you, actually as you, the otters sort of maneuver you further inland, the more and more dry land you see uh, and it becomes more like there's just small lakes and, and uh, you know, meandering pathways for the water. Um, so, yeah. And um, unless there's anything that you would like to do on the trip, it takes about, or Artemis Prime tells you, it take about two hours uh, to get there. Um, or as he would describe it, you know, you'd be back at the rig before, uh, before um, sunrise. And um, Can yeah. I kind of make a some conversation on the ride there. Sure, yeah. So listen, where are we going? What's this uh, first trial run? Oh, uh, well, you know, like uh, the, 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 you know, like, I know I know a guy who, who knows a guy who knew a guy and, and, and we're meeting that one. Uh, you know, he's a collector, uh, like, uh, like a, you know, a, a madam here. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Madam? Well, he refers to Calliope. He's, you know, he's like, oh, but, yeah. uh, and yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, that's right. Oh, hello. Um, I am Mur. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 are you talking to Artemis Prime here or one of the others? Uh, to Calliope. Oh, but well. in general, and then gotcha. you're like, oh yeah, and you guys too, kind of thing. Mm. Um, but uh, we're we're headed towards um. I don't know what you call it. A, I don't. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's colorful, uh, something other that the, 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 the individual there is a bit dangerous, you know. But you know, you keep your cool, you be polite. Everything's fine. All right. Yeah. You know, and if you need some muscle, you got us. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we'll keep it cool, though. We'll keep it cool. Oh. Yeah, guys, be cool. Be cool. Brutus is a uh, is like standing, like always near Calliope, like muscle wise, oh. just like. You know, because every kind of rich person needs a bodyguard. So that's Certainly. that's Brutus for Calliope here. Nice. Like cool, cool. the thing that he's giving off. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. At um, at some point, you pass by what looks to be a large bonfire through the that you can see through the trees. Um, it's not far from where this uh, stream that you're on is, uh, or this sort of branch of the main river. Uh, is uh, is located, but it's far, far enough you can't really tell how many people are around the bonfire or what they're doing. Um, if I mean, do y'all pass it by or or uh, stop and take a look or what? I mean, at, at this point, Calliope's pretty single-minded. Okay. Um, 
there there's not much else that you see out here at night the the jungle gets uh you know denser and denser and less waterlogged until eventually um you have to abandon the boat on a uh, shallow shore and uh, walk the rest of the way this is so slow <laughs> <laughs> it is slightly inconvenient, but that's uh, okay. right, you know, it's, it's the walk. It's it's not very long, uh, right? It's a, it's a, just a little bit, and you know, uh, there's no uh, mountains or anything in the way. There are no hills. That's as good. My my movement speed on land is 15 feet around. Okay, so. nice. All right, yeah. You can just get on my my shell. You know, carry the babies. I'm pretty strong. Okay, thank you, Mark. Mar very lovely of you and i'll just stick to myrtle shell <laughs> nice uh yeah that works and uh you begin to uh, make your pick your way through uh the uh the jungle and calliope you when you get off the boat you have a different experience of this place than everyone else for everyone else it's a jungle in the middle of the night your visibility is limited to at best 10 feet um it's dark. Uh, there, again, none of the stars or moon really penetrate the canopy here. It's it's uh, you need your light sources, uh, you know, even if you had uh, uh, dark vision. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You see something different, Calliope. The jungle right. is lit by a variety of softly glowing uh, candles of a variety of colors and hues. Some of them appear to be scented or seem to be scented as various. Uh, aromas uh, hit you. You smell cinnamon and cloves. It mm -hmm. smells uh, like a spice cake or, or something, you know, equally as, as, as aromatic. Yeah. Uh, and they for these uh, candles form a pathway into the jungle that the otters are vaguely following, you know, mm -hmm. but you see this actual kind of, uh, you know, like I said, it's a well-lit uh, path through the jungle. Uh, this place is beautiful, guys. It what? It's beautiful. Nuts. Yeah. Crazy. You, uh, look, you can actually see the like the swamp has like nice lilies over there. Have you ever been here before? No. Just looking. Yeah, yeah. Well, and he gives the Otterus gives a quick uh, stay away from any of the multicolored snakes. Uh, don't go anywhere near any of the uh, dragon kin things, you know, the, the small ones. Uh, mm. And uh, above all, uh, if you see a uh, walking uh, ooze man uh, or something, stay out of its way. They, they're they terrible and they like, they, you know, we just don't bother them. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's a jungle. So just don't try not to get lost. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, he, mm -hmm. it's very good. he gripes for a bit and sort of talks, but once they get into the jungle proper, they all four of them. Uh, go quiet unless uh, someone talks to them. Now, are they, you following them? Uh, do they have that? weapons drawn? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're not like not in any and uh, but just you know, preparedness. Out. Yeah, they're prepared. Yeah, I'll just have my sword out then. Okay. Not much trident out, and I'm ready to stab at anything that comes at Grandma. Cool, cool. Are you following um, the otters? Or are you follow uh, Calliope? Or where is everybody? Is or, are everybody following the otters, or and is Calliope following? I mean, since they're vaguely following the path of lights, I'm going to follow the path of lights. Okay. Same. At some point, if at some point they diverge. Well. No, they 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 mostly follow all uh, in the same direction, and um, it is. Let's see. So you've been walking uh, just about two hours, um, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> or traveling, I should say. I haven't been walking that far. When uh, up ahead, you can see brighter lights, and this time everyone can see them. You can oh. see that there is some sort of uh, structure, maybe, or something up ahead that's being lit by these uh, lights. Now, Calliope, uh, you've uh, the the path has only gotten more and more elaborate as it appears as though decorations have been hung in the trees. Um, little, you, you start seeing little uh, saucers with like food in them uh and and uh like champagne flutes and mm -hmm. you know there's sort of like fine uh drinking uh vessels with equally fine libations in them just like left out just left out yeah 
it could be could be gifts for fairies, but I mean, we're not. They don't. They don't have fairies here. Never mind. Wait, she did you say that only Calliope can see these? Only Calliope can okay. see. Every, every, all the rest of you are walking through this dark, hot, humid jungle. Hmm. And it's only after about 30 minutes of walking that you can see these, that everybody can see these sort of lights and there's something up ahead in a clearing. Um, okay. I'm like really depicted, I'm, I'm, in my head, I'm thinking like like the coolest, like, you know, like Louisiana backyard party. Like, like that's the image I'm fitting in my head. Sort of like the, there's so there's like lantern lights kind of strung in the trees sort of thing and and mm -hmm. uh, other paper lanterns rather. She um, she does mention aloud all the all the offerings as, as she's calling them. Yeah. Left uh, for the fairies, so she might sound crazy. Yeah, and um, yeah, you don't have uh, I don't know if you keep going forward, you uh, eventually come into a clearing. Yes. Anybody stop before then? Otters keep going. I'm probably just walking right into a trap, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. Okay. The otters walk right into the clearing, and as you do, you begin to hear like melodious uh, sounds. Someone's playing music, uh, soft and and uh, inviting. And there is a brilliantly colored silken pavilion of some sort, just a massive tent that dominates this uh, clearing in the jungle, and. Um, it's from this tent that you that you can smell the smells. All of you now can smell these sort of spice smells, the sort of aromatic uh, cloves and cinnamon and the like. Hear music, and from the tent, uh, I was hoping that you would arrive tonight. Do please come in and partake of my hospitality. And like one of the flaps, of the tent opens up. Ooh. <laughs> Spoopy. I go right in. All right, Myrtle goes in. Yeah, yeah. Clive people skip in oh. after Myrtle. Yeah. The otters go in. Myrtle just goes in. <laughs> All right. Inside, there is oh. a, a lavishly appointed uh, interior. Silks and uh, uh, other fine fabrics. There's gold and silver and platinum uh, ornamentations. Jewels and gemstones uh, adorn every surface and uh, finger even of the creature in front of you. It appears uh, I want to describe it. There is a uh, powerful looking creature in front of you that is wearing uh, sort of enveloped in these brocade uh, silk robes, multi-layered, right? You can't see anything other than a face, which is a, uh, a white tiger's face with sort of black where the muzzle would be running down to what you can see of, the, uh, of its neck and then uh, bright orange, like almost hurts to look at stripes that come across. Otherwise it looks just like a tiger. Um, its stripes are uh, octarine, which is a color that is reminiscent of the purple, white, orange, green of an arc welder. Similar intensity. Uh, and it looks at you with uh, jail eyes, which is a color which uh, invokes jealousy and a slow burning passion. Nice. What is otherwise not found on the normal color spectrum. Oof. Um, and it uh, looks at you with these eyes <clears throat> from alien color from another dimension and Calliope, it is a true pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Oh, you know me. Yes. And, it, and with a gesture of its uh, head, uh, you see on the wall is your pelt. It's sort of hung up, not in a, like a, um, it's, not, it's not like nailed or anything, it's what's like hung up and, and taken mm -hmm. care of, but it is displayed in a very prominent uh, manner. The otters are nervous and clearly so. How about everybody else? Curious what y'all's reaction were. Very warm in here. Whew. Yeah, he's pretty. Or they're pretty. She's pretty. Um, okay. I think it's the lack of water. Brutus is honestly... Or yeah. appears next to Ophelia. 
Brutus is kind of scared because he's not sure that if he has to fight this thing, that they are going to make it out alive. Mm -hmm. so, Nobody needs to fight. Nervous, uh, nervous, but optimistic. Um, hmm. This is my skin. Um, Mr. Mr. Tiger, sir. Indeed it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know me. I do. <clears throat> Which means maybe you found out about me magically? Mm, your reputation precedes you, and I think you are too humble by far. Thank you. I th wait, yeah, thank you. Do sit down and rest yourselves. Take advantage of my hospitality. And there's a variety of exotic and familiar foods, drink, uh, and the like. Um, noticing- I drink eat nothing. You just not drink anything. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, would, does Ophelia do anything with the water? get in the water because the baby bucket's getting a little, little dry. She's, she's alternating the three of them into the The water seems to uh, maintain its freshness. Uh, and um, But yeah, he, if no one sits down... Um, yeah, Ophelia sits oh, down. I'll sit down. I'll sit. Okay. I'll be, you know. No yeah. yeah, Clive is just... Take. Yeah. <laughs> Clive people like, you know, well, floatingly ask, this isn't enchanted, is it? Uh, if it's, you're asking if it's nutritious, then of course mm -hmm. it is. Cool. Of Good. course it's enchanted. Would you have it any other way? No, no. And she starts drinking anything. Yeah, it tastes delicious, like the best thing you've ever possibly oh, yeah, I forgot Ophelia wants to taste everything. <laughs> Ophelia's eating everything. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the character quirk that I gave her. She's like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh wait, yeah, she's going to taste everything. Yeah, she yeah. just gets like a little plate, puts like just a little like, a bite of everything. There you go. <laughs> I, all right, that I think this is where, that's uh, that definitely deserves an inspiration uh, for Ophelia for playing nice. that. But uh, you are free to, to eat or drink. Uh, it is... Does not appear to be cursed. Those of you who are eating Correct. it tastes delicious. Oh, this is delicious, and I'm just like like I've got with with me sitting in this pool. All eight of my tentacles are free because the babies are just floating. They're fine. Yeah. They're buoyant. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm just like like it's like the tentacles never stop. It's like a conveyor belt of food from the plate to from. That's the how I would eat where I an octopus. Yes. Yes. That's how you supposed to. I have a question on Ophelia's behalf. Uh -huh. Does all the different stuff taste the same? No, it's it's all different. Okay. It's all yeah, it's all real. It I mean it's it is a it's like a super experience, right? It's like it it's you know it it's one of those moments where that it'll be burned into your mind forever, kind of things. Mm. Brutus mm, will try yeah. a bite of just. I think she turns meat. like happy colors and just like keeps like shifting. Like she takes a bite of something, and she goes like blue hues. Takes a bite, and it's purple. <laughs> Is there apple pie? Yeah, there's yeah, there's there is there is apple, there are apple pies. <laughs> Myrtle's gonna be so strong, but before mm -hmm. she takes a bite, so uh, mm -hmm. she gets a little bit closer to this tiger. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I've never seen a creature quite as beautiful as you. Thank you. I am a traveler, a collector, and uh, yes. I like to think of myself as an adventurer and lover of experiences. I can tell. I have a powerful need to experience the most beautiful things in this universe. And Calliope's music has long been on my list. I think that the Skin is part of the dance, but I mean no offense by it, please. And you can see that it's moving something, but you can never see anything other than the face. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would uh, hate to think that you thought less of me because I was a thief or a brigand, but no, I merely desire your art. And he is at that point. There's a variety of instruments that reveal themselves, and uh, all manner of, uh, you know, the like for a uh, for a recital. Hmm. I mean, it seems that Calliope. I mean, if you just give her her pelt, I'm sure she could 
give you some jams, right? That is my desire. I hope that we can come to an arrangement. How else was I to get your attention? You know what? That's absolutely true. Um, I, really, um, I think I think we could jam. I mean, I I want to play those, so you know, I, I might do it anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I got that. You're right. you, did, you didn't change your entertainer background, did you? No, no. Okay, that's what I, that's what I, I I didn't think you had, but uh, just, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what he's. he's um, at, or it's at. Yes, uh, I will gladly play. Um, could I could I see my pelt? Yeah, I mean you see it. It's right on the wall there. Yeah, no, I mean like pick it up. Oh yeah, yeah. No okay. one's stopping you. Cool. She goes and retrieves her pelt and kind of gives it a look over. Seems fine. She she smells it. Smells like other otters. Nah. All right. Well, she's gonna have to have to roll around in it later, with it on, of course. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. She's like, Clippy <laughs> goes. Now I don't. It's slightly difficult for me to play in otter form, but not impossible. What, what are you? What are you looking for? Well, I. I desire the best music that you could produce. Oh, uh, your most mournful of uh, ballads, your most uplifting of songs, all your entire range, <clears throat> have it all. Um, okay, cool. Um, I can do that, and then the otters seem incredulous. They're like, they're just they're they really seem like this was something way more sinister. Do I get the impression that? Like they were hired to get it, and he didn't actually steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the impression that you get was that <clears throat> it was a as a otter's paw. Yeah, to where? <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go for it. All right. No, I was, I was like, I don't. Do I need to cast a spell to do this? What happens if my magic surge is really bad? Um, oh, no, I think. You, I mean, are you? Yeah, we, oh, I forgot about the magic surge. Anyway, um, if you well, want, we can trigger the magic surge. I think, you know... There's certainly a lot of magic flying around here. To, yeah. To have, have we seen the... Um, have you guys seen the episode of Futurama? Or, Maybe. Well, I mean, yes. obviously, I haven't finished. I've seen all of them. I've seen it. Oh, the, yeah, with, the, with like, the, the flute that, like, that, like, shows pictures of your head. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's going to do that with combination playing and Dreamscape. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's gonna like tell some stories through her music. Nice. Um, so yeah, so she does that. She casts a spell, um, invoking, you know, brilliant colors and you know, scenic vistas of, of her homeland. You know, uh, you know, with the edges uh, glossed. You know, like in an old movie. Mm -hmm. They put Vaseline on the screen. It's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Let's see how it goes. Uh, performance, I guess. Or uh, yeah, performance would certainly fit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, see, yeah, because uh, an instrument proficiency would be more like. Uh, I really don't. Yeah, I, I think this performance fits more with this one. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Uh, Twenty-one. There's a, I mean, you keep like, it's one of those situations where you ask more, more, encore. Um, and yeah. it, the, the, you know, the, uh, <laughs> right, the uh, uh, recital lasts uh, well into the, well into the night, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you hold this uh, creature's rapt attention, staring at you with its unnervingly colored eyes. And it's sort of like, after image uh, uh, stripes, which is, which is neat. Yeah, at, at some point, you know, uh, the otters uh, start eating food and, and appear to be kind of not bored, but you know, they didn't. This is not what they thought this was going to be. <laughs> um, and I don't know. How about the rest of y'all? Y'all, I mean, it's a pleasant enough experience, I guess. I yeah. eat until I can't eat anymore, or until the food's all gone. Yeah. The food never runs out, but oh. so you can eat your fill. I am a very fat octopus. Um. <laughs> so 
Uh, actually, uh, eventually, Kalei Kalei's putting these images out, and she's thinking real hard to do it. That's the fun part about it. And she yeah. um, she depicts him meeting her king on on his uh, on his beach uh, court, mm -hmm. and, and it's it's magnificent. And there's dancing hippopotami and all this kind of weird stuff. Craziness. Very mm -hmm. Fantasia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of what I imagine it's like, or at right. least how they conduct themselves. Yeah, yeah. So, um, this, your, your recital goes on for, like I said, a couple hours even, like, you sort of get lost in it, uh, in a way. After a while, it's just a jam sesh. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they, uh, without moving or, or really much of anything, in fact, they pretty much just like, stare motionlessly with just a, a slight smile of, of enjoyment as the you know as it goes on um and afterwards it's like uh this is a marvelous and wonderful uh, wonderful time i do confess though that there is an ulterior motive for bringing you here it's not just to enjoy the sounds of your music hmm. Okay. I uh, understand the irony in the story I'm about to tell you, but I think it was more inspiration when I heard it. There were others like yourself, a great number of singers and performers long time ago came to this world and were trapped, bound to terrible uh, prisons and enslaved mm -hmm. simply because of their song, their voice their music, it breaks, breaks my soul to know that such beautiful creatures would be imprisoned for so long without being able to sing and express the joy and sublime vision in their souls. That's very true. I do not know where they are, but I know they are nearby and something is blocking my efforts to acquire them. I do not think it is my rival, for they are incapable of such, uh, such magic. This is something older, different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was hoping that you would find it in your heart to empathize with such poor creatures and see it within yourself to assist me in recovering them and freeing them from their terrible prisons. Hmm. Did say acquire them first? Oh, yes, as I understand it, they are uh, imprisoned in a variety of inanimate objects, uh, oh. mostly marble statues, as I understand it, but uh, not all of them. Can oh. I do an insight check on this handsome tiger? Sure. Awesome. We um, never did get their name, did we? No, you did not. They did never. They never offered it either. That's I'm well. I'm gonna mute myself while I eat this slider while you guys. Sliders. Right. I question that. Seems truthful. Natural twenty. Oh. Seems. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a. It's a. You know, it seems like a an elaborate story, but uh -huh. you don't detect any falsehood. Like, it seems since no nefarious motives. Look, like, yes, I will acquire them all. <laughs> yeah, no, he seems legitimately like okay. Someone took okay. 50 of the planes, you know, the multiverse's most talented singers and imprisoned okay. them. Mm -hmm. He wants to help bust them out. Okay, you get the impression, having spent some time, that he's very much a, a libertine and you know, in conversation at least. Uh, yeah, it's very. By acquire them, does do we get the idea that he means acquire them and keep them in their marble statue form, or acquire them and then free them yeah. from their prisons? I mean, the uh, you know the impression you get is that he just wants their form, but he didn't specify, or they didn't specify. Interesting. Hmm. Well, where are they? Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> The first, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that their names have been lost to me, but I, uh, well, I have others, uh, others pursuing that inquiry. 
I know that they were referred to as the 50 Visions. They were a, a choir of sorts, played in the pearlescent cities of the watery realm. And it was only after they had acquired a great uh, reputation for themselves and a uh, fabulous uh, wealth flowed to them, popularity, everyone desired to hear them sing. No one knows what happened to them after traveling to this world, though. They arrived here at the behest of elves, I believe the legend goes. And after that, no one knows where they uh, went. They vanish completely. Their contract with the elves is said to have lasted only a century. They should have returned. No one seems to know. Vanished. And that, like, it's one of the first, like, you know, you see it's like their eyes narrow and sort of like shift on their pillow. Um, and sees sort of like, sort of like the first uh, real emotion they seem to have showed. Or at least well, I think that sounds fantastic. It sounds like an adventure. Indeed. A wondrous <laughs> adventure. And while I'm on vacation here, didn't come willingly, but while I'm on vacation here, um, I might as well. Yes. Why as well. Mm -hmm. Well then, shall we make it formal then? She is forming the word yes with her lips. Brutus is going to put his hand <laughs> on Calliope's shoulder <laughs> and look at the otters. What are the other otters doing right now? They seem like they've seemed sort of nervous uh, at first and then kind of bored. They were eating um and uh they slipped out sometime when y'all weren't paying attention. This <laughs> This isn't the pact that the otter was trying to, like, move to Calliope. Is that uh, the, the? That was the, the impression you got, and and the, and the otter Miss Prime was deliberately and frustratingly vague. Was that yes, that that he had made some arrangement with this creature and wanted it um, transferred or or negated or something, um, and what came of that, uh, you're not sure because, like I said, they reacted very differently than. Uh, you know, that, or at least that they re, they their reaction suggested they're expecting something different, um, and now they're no longer here. Um. So okay, so Brutus touches her on the shoulder and asks the question. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, kneel down and turn Calliope to me and look me in the eyes, mm -hmm. and just give you that like I'm with you if you want to do this. That nod. I mean. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't think I got your name. Uh, no, you simply call me, uh, well, Sultana. We'll do for now. Okay. Uh, so, um, Sultana, or Lord Sultana. This, is this a, a uh, geese we're talking about? Oh, oh, you wound and... Uh, I'm sorry. Because you mentioned my my magical prowess, and I kind of assumed that, that we could talk magic openly. I didn't mean to offend. I felt no need to place you under such powerful and potent magics. Mm -hmm. No, I thought perhaps that a mere agreement okay. would be suffice. Well, it's happened to me before. That's why I asked. It was not a fun year. Ah, no. <clears throat> Merely that you would endeavor in your travels to seek out the 50 visions, to acquire their forms in whatever way you find them. Bring them to me so that I may free them and give the multiverse back the beauty of music. I like it. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Um, and they stand up and stand up and stand up and are kind of like you know, <laughs> like 11 or so feet uh, and very sort of cylindrical uh, oh. above you. The, the pavilion <laughs> appears to grow with them. Uh -huh. Maybe I can get that tall if I like, stand on my tippy tentacles. Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. Certainly. <laughs> I don't think about it. I don't try it right now. <laughs> and um, extends a, uh, a, a arm from the sort of brocade uh, robes and uh, as it extends to you, that you reveal its hand is a backwards-facing paw, 
with backwards uh, pointing claws or like the claws coming out this and the hand and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, they hand their massive paw to you to uh, make the agreement. Um, Is there anything that you wish to stipulate as part of the arrangement? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well. Hold on a minute. Josh is thinking. Okay. That's fine. Is Calliope back to their otter form already? Does she have her skin, her pelt back? I do have the pelt, yes. You do have the pelt back. Okay. It seems to be mine, if that's what you're wondering. I was just making sure that, like, it wasn't like a, you have to go get the 50 before you can have your pelt back. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, yeah. you've got the, uh, okay. you've got your pelt. Yeah, she's kind of wearing it like a, like a really weird wrap at the moment. It's slung over her shoulders. Uh, um, stipulations. Well, if I'm to do this, then I need to return um, these um, muses or whomever to you. Uh, but if they're stone, they're going to be really heavy. Yes. Hmm. Do you have any way that I could unstone them? Oh, well, I have a variety of ways to break the enchantment. Yes, I can teach some of them to you once you are of sufficient skill. But I can also provide you with the means to free them, if you like. Or if you would rather, uh, you can simply transport them to me. Ah, it is of no consequence. Well, the option wouldn't be bad because if, if if one of them is like a is like a you know five hundred pound baritone, I'm just not gonna be able to lug him back. Uh, it's just you know I'm gonna not need some help. Of course. Um, of course. Hmm. Also, mm-hmm. I do have I do have a question. Yep. Um, if I bring them back or start bringing them back one at a time, however we want to do it, um, will you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, most intriguing. <laughs> yeah, oh. you know, appeal to ego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the appeal to ego is certainly uh, uh-huh. playing into uh, the creature's uh, mm-hmm. self-interest. Um, Certainly. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, you know, he's sort of like, you know, f- you know, it's time to shake and agree on our agreement. She's going to do it. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so Calliope uh, shakes the creature's hand, agreeing to uh, their arrangement. And, um, you know, it doesn't it's not like it feels any different or anything. Mm-hmm. And um, otherwise, uh, you know, Gonna just hang out? What are you gonna do? Let's... I mean, it is nighttime. <laughs> she turns everybody else to be like, "You guys want to chill for a while?" For a while, you must. Well, be... I mean, I mean, do you do you want us to go? We can go. Yes, well, he's gonna. You know, they they sort of like sit back down on their uh, pillow and um, arrange themselves on it. I am afraid that. I will be gone before daybreak. And mm. My travels take me elsewhere, but I will find you again. Be certain of that. Okay. Is there any way I can reach out to you? Yes. But for now, we will keep the arrangement as is. I wouldn't want to rush things. Okay. Ooh, slow into the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> And um, so yeah, we'll get out the the tub, <laughs> pick up the you know the floating, the bobbing, spinning babies, and then top off the baby bucket. <laughs> on the myrtles back. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, top of the baby bucket, got that. Um, and yeah, the uh, you know you're free to leave. You can stick around a little bit, um, you know, yeah. if you want. But uh, yeah, can I yeah. take this pie with me? Of course, have as much as you like. What about You're this bottle? Kind. I, t- hearing that, I kind of just yeah, filled just... the baby bucket up with soup. We're all taking party favors. <laughs> yeah, party favors to, uh, to go plate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple pies in there. 
Sure. Just dried <laughs> meats. Brutus is just getting dried meats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Good. And um, yeah, Rachel. She's getting, like, try it. She's gotten to the point where she's trying weird flavor combinations. Like she grabs like some pickles and some Oreos and just. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sounds gross. <laughs> well, okay. So we, we leave this. We we leave. I, I say goodbye. Uh -huh. I'm, um, I'm excited to explore this um, this thing, and she gives some official farewells. She knows how to do courtly stuff. Sure. So she plays it up as if you were like a visiting lord or dignitary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it sort of bids you. Uh, they bid you farewell, and until we meet again. Yes. Safe travels. Thank you, Satana. And, uh, See you the uh, the flap on the pavilion uh, closes, and you're back out in uh, the uh, dark jungle. Uh, and it is uh, even for Calliope, the path of candles and everything mm -hmm. is uh, gone, and it's it's back to the uh, you know staring at the lightless jungles. How far off was that bonfire from us? Not that far. Uh, it's only maybe about, you know, like it's less than thirty minutes uh, to the uh, to your boat, and you found it not long. Uh, you passed it not long uh, before you departed, so probably less than an hour to get back there. Did the mm -hmm. otters take the boat with them? I don't know. Got to walk back to it. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, should we check? On the bonfire? No, uh, of the boat. Oh. That they took the boat. I mean, it was very suspicious of them, but I mean, the god is here, right? And that means we don't have to fake, you know, looks around and case it around. Fake what? That we're like. Such a good interning. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Actually, not interning, and it's sad. Right? <laughs> I, don't no, think, we can... I don't think we're hired. Um, she starts like trying to go faster. Be like, can we get back? Can we go to the water? Can we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, okay, oh. so um, uh, Ophelia, you were keeping track of sort of like the way in. You said, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to. I made. I made it a point to note how we got in, so I could lead us back that way out. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, um, let's see, go ahead and give me a survival roll for that if you have it, or, uh, yeah, survival. I am actually proficient in survival. So I dropped on, almost dropped on the floor. All right. Uh, 15? Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a difficult thing, right? Like you were paying attention, but, you know, this is the mm -hmm. jungle, it's terrestrial. Mm -hmm. Um, but you managed to, uh, you know, remember your way back and get back there pretty quickly. And yeah, you get to the shore of, of uh, the stream that you were traveling up, and there's no boat. Uh, there's just, you know, the shore. Bastards. Does happen. <clears throat> All right. Um, is there any natural light out? Or are we out of, uh, or is it still pretty trembly? Uh, no, there's no natural light. It is dark. Um, so you'll need to have some kind of light source. And there was no bonfire when we walked back? Uh, you can see it, yeah. You can see it through the trees. It's not that far down the, the stream. You could cross here and go that way or swim down and go another way. Lots of ways. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and roll for your uh, wild search, Josh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you, if you like... It doesn't take that long if you like go looking for the bonfire to see uh, where it is because it's sort of like just it's a big one it looks like mm -hmm. i would probably kind of yeah you know i'm gonna go look at the bonfire if anybody wants to come uh, i'll one. go with you uh -huh. okay. oh there it is look at the table okay <laughs> yeah. so myrtle and ophelia are gonna go check out the uh, bonfire I'm guessing I want to go somewhere else. Some more results. Would you guys like to stay here in the dark or? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, what happened? Where'd you go? What happened? You, you know, I was always wondering if, I, if I'd if i ever roll this one. Is it the <laughs> fireball? 
No, I have rolled that one with another sorcerer, and and it was the worst luck because I rolled the double, and then and then of of like 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 if you roll like the the last one, you roll twice and sure, and I rolled a fireball, and then I immediately rolled like keep rolling for the next minute. Oof. It was really hilarious. My corpse was just changing colors. And all this oh, God, uh, was, okay, so so one d six, and I rolled six flumps, controlled by the DM, appear in an unoccupied space within sixty six feet of you. Flumps, just six flumps. Okay, and are frightened of you. They vanish after one minute. Yeah. Okay. So that you all are, or, just, you're or all the are then, or the equivalent, right? So yeah. there's a, a, a flumps, basically a flying jellyfish. So that's, oh, that's... perfectly appropriate. Yeah. Um, Okay, so the flumps then, uh, ooh, all right. So yeah, you're there's the you're a wild magic, uh, you know. I'd like to think of it, or at least I, I, I think as we talked about maybe, um, where it's like it's it's sort of like your magic, uh, incompat your magic's incompatibility with the world, mm -hmm. uh, just it's it's just too <laughs> chaotic, and, yeah. Uh, all of that, you know, you came out of this tent. There's all kinds of magic going on there. There's all sorts of stuff going on with this uh, this tiger creature, and you could just sort of feel it as a tear in the planar walls uh, just rips, and uh, these six flumps come out. Oops, not again. These are like pulsing oh. in inner psychic light and googly eyes on their stalks. Oh my god, well at least they're bright. Yeah. Um, um, hi guys. They, uh, let's see. I wave okay. hello. <laughs> Yeah, um, they they they're um, freaked out, you know, scared. Uh, you know, they thought they were going to be somewhere else, uh, and their uh, bioluminescence begins to like flash different colors as they uh, as they panic. Panic at the flump disco. <laughs> they do this for a minute. They do this for a minute. <laughs> is this is this a zany round by round minute or? or or it doesn't have else? to be. It, yeah. I mean, if y'all want to try to to calm them down, you can, but they're not going to be here that long. I, I definitely want to. I right, like I shift colors time. like that sometimes too. I can sympathize. Oh yeah. I'm going to try to to shift to some calming, soothing colors. Okay. Like, this is okay. Yeah, yeah. Now that we think it's fine. Yeah. That after a while, Clippy would have to give up. I'm pretty sure it's capital F frightened. Um. Yeah. So, like, like they're trying to move. Yeah. So eventually she'll she'll be really sad and go sit down. Okay, um, but you can make uh, like if Ophelia wants to make a I don't know, persuasion is probably what it would be. Oh, I'm not good at that, but let's see how it goes. Just, I mean, they're, they're pretty predisposed to. Plus zero, eighteen. Before the minutes out, they seem to calm down. <laughs> I, I introduce and I shake my head. <laughs> yeah, you get a warm fuzzy feeling. They communicate via emotions mostly. Oh, so, like so you cool. feel so sort of a, a feeling of a tentative acceptance and curiosity. Um, Come back anytime. <laughs> they get sucked back in. Bye, guys. <laughs> uh, so Myrtle is uh, Myrtle, and whoever else is off. Uh, maybe this happens on the way to the bonfire or something. Mm -hmm. I go are walking. Um, I'm back in. I'm, I wait back over to Myrtle. Sorry, I got to right, show. and. Um, as you <laughs> approach and get closer to this bonfire, you can hear the unmistakable sounds of chanting and ritual magic going on. Does this sound like when Weiris and I walked in on that ritual? It like yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're chanting um, the name. They're chanting Thulu. Like you can sort of the the underlying uh, 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 chant of it is uh, yeah is the uh, the Thulu chant that they. Uh, I'll, I'll be like, um, oh. Lyris and I met these people earlier. They're very strange. Yeah. Are they nice? Should we be scared or? I mean, they were cordial enough. They did have some blood sports that was very much a meat grinder. It was not the kind of blood sport I'm used to, which is more of like, oh, you know, we fight and then whoever's left standing wins. This is more like feed everyone who's a shark and it's kind of a blender of stuff but uh, you know like you could say they got real chummy hmm. um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh nice one <laughs> i see what you did there um 
okay, okay. But do you think they can let us share the fire, or what do you think? I mean, I don't, I don't think they wouldn't. Yeah, as you get closer, <laughs> they're like there's a considerable amount of them. There, it looks like there's at least ten, if not maybe more. And they are definitely doing some kind of performing some sort of ritual uh, around this bonfire because they've they're throwing things into it, chanting. Uh, you can smell like a, a rotten fish smell, uh, as well as um, make out just the occasional word in Aquan, and they're not pleasant words. I don't I don't think they are a good influence on the children in Ireland as well. Yeah, they don't seem to have noticed you. Uh, Pretty focused on their hmm. cracking magic. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, we, we just we yeah, just we... got through talking to Tiger Man, Sultana. Mm -hmm. Although I'm pretty sure he's like a demon or something. I don't know. I don't pay attention when they taught me that. I don't think I've ever seen a demon. I wouldn't know. They don't come to us where I'm from either. <laughs> yeah, you, you only hear stories. You really want to try and meet one. No, we should get back to the ship. Now that you have your pelt back. You can... Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I want to get back in the water. Um, can we get back in the water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, there's a channel not far from here. The one that you came up to originally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so if you get back in the water, then you are back in the water. Okay. It's probably best to avoid it, right? Because I was listening earlier to the to the replay, and and some people died, maybe at the at the bonfire thing. Didn't, didn't somebody get ritually drowned? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there was a ritual drowning. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. all right. Maybe not go there then. Mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe what are you guys talking about? It'll be fun. Be fun. Fun. I don't think there'll be a good influence on the children. Yeah. Y'all have never been ritually drowned before. Let me tell you, it is a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> yeah. It only happens once. It's great. I don't drown. I, I just breathe under the water. Yeah. Uh, um, you're a party pooper. <laughs> so it's a few it's it's a it's a bit long or it's only a few more hours until sunrise, you'd guess. Uh at mm -hmm. least when you see the sky, that's what it looks like. So are y'all headed back to the ship or y'all going to go somewhere, uh, stop anywhere else or, or what? No, where else went? He seems to be quite a negligent father. Um, I don't think I'm going to give uh, parental rights over the babies. Um, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> this, but it's fine. Um, I'm, I think we should go back to the boat. Okay. Yeah. Um, Calliope's going to... Uh... Um, she's gonna just like, like take her pelt and like, like pull it over her head like she's putting on a shirt. Except as she does it, she turns into like a, like a four and a half feet long sea otter. Oh, nice! Um, big whiskers. Yeah. Silver, silver neck. Mm -hmm. And then just starts loving it, doing, doing acrobatics. What are your? Um, are you? Do you have stats for that uh, otter? No, um, your otter form. Yeah, because it's like it'd be it's medium sized because it's like like they weigh like hundred yeah, pounds. Huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, they're pretty really big. Um, okay, well, um, no, we can work on it later. I, we can yeah. find something suitable. I just didn't know if you'd found an otter. The or one or not. the closest thing I found is is um, I approximated a fifty foot swim speed, uh -huh. um, and that's the really the only thing I could find. Um, I forgot where I got that from. But right. anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you guys are making your way back there, it'll take like just you're deep in the swamp right now. Uh, so it's going to take a while, a couple of hours to make your way through all the different uh, channels back out through uh, to the main uh, cove there. So I mean, if you want, make your you know just make your way straight there. Um, oh, mm -hmm. I haven't told the captain yet that we met with. Um, that shark person, Nasha. Yeah. Yeah. I have to tell her about that. That was interesting. <laughs> she might want to know. 
she might. Yeah. If she arrives, the first fate hasn't come back, and I don't blame her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Went to the corner store to get a, a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Uh, So as you make your way through uh, the swamp out into the open water, you know, it it takes a while. And during this time, the rain begins to pour in earnest. That uh, thunderstorm that was coming in over the water for uh, for most of the evening has hit. And sort of like torrential rain uh, begins to pour, lightning uh, dancing between the clouds and occasionally striking the, uh, the ground. You can see as you're swimming along all these paths that there are patches in the main uh, channel that are like bubbling and and sort of like frothing. Your eggs that uh, that you have, Ophelia, are like spinning so fast they're they're just they're like bobbing and weaving all over the place. You have to maintain like a really strong uh, grip on them. And um, your babies are dancing. You're as you pass by the rig. <laughs> you pass by the rig, you can see that uh, there's other patches uh, of this, uh, you know, that are that are doing the same kind of thing. And making your way out into the main uh, cove there, the entire uh, sort of enclosed body of water is bubbling. There's waves that are lapping uh, in from the open ocean, from the wind and the rain. There's something underneath here that's just like churning and bubbling. And you can see that there is a uh, one boat that has come out of where uh, the pirate uh, settlement was. And they have set up several large copper, uh, what look like tridents, just like enormous copper tridents into the, directly into the water. And a second boat, which has sort of rusted steel hull and is kind of like a flat top uh, sort of situation. It looks like sails have been bolted onto it. Uh, it does not look like sails were meant to be uh, attached to this thing. And you can see them throwing buckets of something, blood, viscera, gore, into the water. As the storm rolls in, lightning striking the lagoon. Cover the baby's eggs, eyes. And these, uh, these ships uh, chumming the waters. Uh, is I think I, I, I hate to call it a little early uh, just because we do get to play we don't always get to play uh, during the summer but this is a good place hopefully yeah. the full group back together because a storm is about to hit these kraken eggs are hatching and uh, the pirates are helping them along so oh, uh, that is where <laughs> we will uh, call it for this as day breaks over kraken bay Right, they're not gonna be happy. That's a good name for a chapter. There you go. Over Kraken Bay. Oh yeah. Video Uh, title. (laughs) So uh, yeah, there we go. We will pick this up. um, I guess hopefully we can all get together next week. But if not, we'll do what we can do and play when we can play. And yes. So um, yeah, let's go around and talk to everybody. What you got going on and where we can find you all that good stuff. And Matt, I'm going to make you go first this time. Oh, that's fair. I didn't actually go for the first um, part. Yeah. So I'm Matt. I'm the intern for WebDM. I got called Intern Monkey a lot yesterday because that was my, my little title on Zoom, which was pretty great. Um, I just kind of chill on Twitter for most of my day and then uh, then do some work with my dad. I just applied for a job doing social media stuff for a local high school. Nice. I wish me luck, everybody. Oh, um, yeah. I got an interview on Monday. And that's Thanks. pretty much about it. Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Awesome, awesome. Right. And, uh, yeah, who's up next? Uh, Lindy. Hi. You call me right from New York. Quickly on and made me young. Um, hi, I'm Lindy. Uh, that was super fun. I have babies. We'll crack the babies. I have no idea. If I'm going to be here next week or not, just depends on how much stuff I have back by then. <laughs> We're getting the moving truck next Friday. So, yay, fun times. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I, I liked all the face stuff and shenanigans and all that stuff. But you can find me online at Laugh Love Lenny on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, my regular schedule is in chaos because I'm in cardboard box packing city. Uh, so just follow me on Twitter for updates on what I'm doing and when. I'll be posting on there whenever I go live or something. It's cool. so. Awesome. 
Excellent. Hey, good luck on that move. Heck yeah. Yeah. It's a long one. <laughs> it's a long one, yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, Anna. Hello. I had a great time as always. I'm so excited to see if we can actually raise these little Kraken babies. Because if Myrtle can't, and I'm sure Ophelia's heart will be broken, but oh my god, like Myrtle loves babies. You know, like what grandma doesn't? I mean, I'm sure there's some grandma doesn't, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really stoked about these babies and I'm going to take care of them with everything that I have. Nice. But while we get to that point, you could follow me on Twitch as Cyborg Pizza or Instagram and to Twitter as Anna B Photo. That's it. Excellent, excellent. And uh, Josh. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good. Although I don't know if Calliope knows what she's in for. Also, uh, you know, I really should have taken the the Arcana skill. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I uh, my name's Josh. Dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> Find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and I think even like weird places like DeviantArt. It's uh, Beard Four Charity, Beard Number Four Charity, um, and um, I say stupid stuff. I post art all over the place, so why don't you just check everywhere for it? There you go. Yeah, just look for it. Go find my art. All right. Yes. Very, very, very good. Uh, and I am Jim Davis, one half of WebDM, uh, where we make d and advice and uh, other inspiration videos uh, over on YouTube and we play games over here on Twitch. Uh, I am also on a Cobalt uh, Presses channel on Sunday nights, playing a little Midgard, um, trying out the Trollkin uh, Night Whisperer over there, having a lot of fun with that. Um, and uh, yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out uh, with us as we uh, continue to explore and shape this uh, weird setting and see what these characters are up to. And uh, yeah, don't get to play often enough, but I always love it when we get a chance to. And uh, we will see y'all um, Tuesday for a little Breath of the Fall. Woo! Have a great weekend.